Well, hey guys, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider, your old friend HDR. Hey, if you're new to the channel, then welcome aboard the 2018 Roguelad Ultra. But today I'm sure that the title and the thumbnail kind of gives it away of the story here we're talking about so but I'm glad you clicked on the video and uh, thank you for stepping up to the plate with this one with me with this uh, topic here it's not a fun topic it's not a topic that I really wanted to discuss with you all if you're not subscribed to the channel please click on that subscribe button I would truly appreciate it hit the little bell notifications you get notified every time a video is posted all right, so today we are talking, obviously, about gas prices, gasoline prices. And you know what? My buddies have been calling me and calling me and calling me. Hey, HDR, get the bike out. Get the bike out. Let's go ride, HDR. Let's go ride. And you know, honestly, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a price conscientious man. You guys know that about me by now. And honestly, I, I just... Keep t I don't want to burn that much fuel up, right? I don't want to just go out and ride. And I love my motorcycle. I love to ride a motorcycle. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, uh, going out joyride. Now, if you're going to some place, like if we're going to get some lunch or whatever that is, that's okay. What I also want to know is, what do you think of this new view? This is the uh, Super View on the GoPro. Okay, it's called Super View. So I'm just trying it out to see what kind of view we get today and uh, see how it works out. I don't know if I'll like it either, but uh, we'll give it a go. So anyway, many of you may know, many of you may not know, myself and my wife recently went on a vacation and we were gone for uh, nine days. We got home on the ninth day. And we decided this year, instead of moto vlogging, we're gonna take the car. And if you watch those videos, the reason we took the car was we figured we would camp and offset the price of the fuel because with the motor vlog with the motorcycle I know you can motor vlog uh, you can moto camp but it's a lot with two people when you're riding with all the gear and everything so with that said we decided to take the car because we wanted to take the ultimate camping setup you know with an easy up uh, you know well here's a picture of our campsite now you get the idea so all that on the motorcycle just wouldn't work and when we were at these campsites, first of all, campsites, I don't know when they decided to raise the price on those. But I guess it's inflation, right? Everything is going up. Because a campsite, when we used to camp, a tent site would be about, I don't know, 25 bucks a night. Maybe, yeah, about 25 bucks a night. That's with water and electric. Now it's about 50 to $55 a night. Um, so we figured every night that we camped, we offset our cost by, you know, an, an extra night in a hotel because a hotel was double the price, basically, as a campsite. But as we were there, and this, this is whole topics getting around this gas prices and how Americans just don't care. And I know, don't get me wrong, everybody grovels. Oh, no, no, gas prices are so high. Oh, my God, they're almost $5 a gallon for regular. Yes. Yes, I understand this. But it's not stopping people from doing what they want to do. Not what you have to do, right? You have to go to work. Um, you know, you probably have to go to the store. But just like us vacationing, we didn't have to do that. So for me to sit here and tell you that, man, we spend so much money in gasoline in the car, that would be totally ridiculous because that was our choice, right? Nobody made us go on a vacation. We just wanted to get away for a little while. All right, with that said, Here's the thing that I'm, that interested me the most. So these folks that own these big motor homes, okay, now you've seen them. Here's a picture right here of a big motor home, okay? We, I don't know if Miss Sager, I gotta ask her, see if she has any pictures that I could use in this video, but if not, here's a stock picture of a motor home. We talked to one older couple, very nice couple, and we said, hey, uh, how, how affordable is it to run that motor home? They said, well, it used to be pretty pretty decent, right? Because we used to be able to run the motor home and travel all over the place and take our house with us. And, but now with diesel fuel, because they run diesel, now with diesel fuel being 
I don't know, six dollars a gallon or more in places. They have found they're getting, now this is what they told me, I don't know this to be a fact, six miles to a gallon of diesel fuel. Six miles to a gallon. I also didn't know the tractor trailer trucks hold, I think somebody told me 200 gallons of diesel. Now you take 200 gallons times six dollars a gallon, that's a lot of money. But every town we went into, every city we crossed through, absolutely, positively, there was traffic and there was cars everywhere. You know, and, and the campgrounds we went to, like I said, other than the motorhomes, I mean the big trailers, the big fifth wheels getting pulled by these big diesel pickup trucks. Same deal, guys. Same deal. I mean, they, they cost a lot of money to run them trucks to pull those big fifth wheels around. So what I'm getting at is, you know, yes, gas prices are very high, and I think it is affecting a few Americans. But if you want to get in your car and you want to go somewhere, yeah, you're going to grovel when you go to the gas pump. I guarantee it. But I also guarantee that you're not going to not do what you want to do. Okay, I also guarantee that because uh, I know we are. Um, Pete's 1800 actually. Uh, he did a video and it was really interesting it really hit home with me he did a video here's a picture of pete's 1800s channel you might want to check his channel out he did a video not long before our vacation and said you know has gas prices changed your vacation plans and obviously it definitely changed ours we normally moto vlog we normally moto can or moto travel uh hotel to hotel to hotel we were going to take the bike all the way to new mexico but it did change our travel plans. So we ended up, you know, taking the car. It's seeing a lot of cool sites, don't get me wrong. We still had a nice vacation. Um, I spent totally too much money actually at Walmart. So I don't actually know, to be honest with you, if we saved anything with the amount of money that we had to spend at Walmart for camping, camping stuff that we didn't have, that we forgot, or we didn't know we needed. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was, whew. I uh, spent a lot of money at Walmart. But anyway, it, it, you know, so the gas is not going down. And has it affected my motorcycle riding? Um, it, it affected me more, I guess. And Mrs. H. Zergens, man, she's like, just take the damn bike and go. Go for a ride. It's affected me more like I don't just look for pickup rides anymore. I don't, I don't look to ride a couple hundred miles a day just to do it. Uh, if I have some place to go, like VAM is coming up, I'll be going to VAM. Matter of fact, when this video drops, we should be at VAM, I think. No, that's not right. I think VAM is the following week. Anyway, you get the idea. But, um, so that's a destination, you know. That's some place I'm taking the bike. Like when I went to Ohio with the guys, that was again a destination. So, yeah, it is hurting. It is hurting everybody, and it's just, I just don't like to just burn up money like that for for no reason. And again, I'm just a price conscientious guy, and they got this road all toward the shit. I don't know why they do this. Uh, they grade it before they're ready to blacktop it, but, oh wait, maybe it's blacked up up here. Woohoo, yeah, okay, all right, we're all right. Quit complaining, HUR. Remember, you're always humble and kind. You don't complain, yes I do. Because sometimes I just give a crap, you know? All right, we'll go this way. All right, anyway. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, you know, how is the gas prices affecting you? You know, again, as I said, most Americans are just dealing with it. I did hear the other day that people's average credit card debt right now that they're carrying is, um, you know, well over ten thousand dollars so i think people are just charging stuff and hoping they can pay it back at some point i don't know i don't know what people are doing you know we try to live by you know live within your means and travel when you can and do what you can so uh that was the uh, ideal reason for camping i know a lot of you guys watched those videos and said oh hdr would never camp in that heat i mean we did it we got through it and we enjoyed it some nights were better than others but hey all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i always appreciate it again if you're not subscribed please click like that subscribe button i definitely would guarantee uh, guarantee to bring you some new and interesting stuff um you know 
I don't always know what I'm going to be recording, but I'm sure there'll be something interesting for you, and we'll figure it out as we go along. So remember, as always, guys, Roger or Rob, be safe out there, huh? Harley Day Rider be down and out in a beautiful day here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Talk to you later. Bye.